And one more slow, steady breath. All right, then bring your knees together and gently hug your right knee in towards your chest as you stretch your left leg out along the floor. And change legs, hug your left knee in towards your chest as you stretch your right leg out along the floor. Then put your arms down at your side, take your left leg up in the tabletop, lengthen your tailbone out of your lower back, bring your right leg up to meet your left. Then open up your arms to your side, chest open, stretch your right leg forward and lower it slowly. Low abs in, spine long, grow through the core of your spine, bring that leg back up, change leg, stretch your left leg forward and slowly lower. Bring the leg back up, feel your abs turn on as you extend the leg. And as you slowly lower, keep drawing your low abs in, pulling your spine long. Back up, change legs. So feel your abs. You can just swing your leg around without using any muscles. Make sure that you're using your core. Bring your leg up. Now let's make it a little tricky. Your arms straight up to the ceiling and stretch your right leg forward as you slowly reach the left arm back towards the wall behind you. Grow your spine longer. That'll make sure that you turn on your spine muscles and bring it back up and stretch the left leg and the right arm. And reach even longer through your tail, through your crown, low abs on, and back up. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, 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 back up. Last round, inhale, reach out. Exhale, back up. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, back up. Then put your hands at your side, put your feet down onto the floor. As you exhale, scoop the buttocks towards the backs of the knees and lift your hips up. And slowly lower down. Exhale, squeeze the backs of the legs, scoop the buttocks, keep the neck free, long and slowly lower down. Let's do eight more like that. Exhale, squeeze the backs of the legs, firm the buttocks in, slowly lower, and seven, and six, and five, and four, Three, two, one. Now bring the feet a little closer together and raise your right leg up in a tabletop position and slowly lower. Then change legs, left leg up as you lift and slowly lower. Change legs and lower slow, change legs. Lower slow, change legs, but use just as much focus as you're coming up. Squeeze the buttock, lower slow, change legs. Lower slow, last round, change legs. And lower, hug your knees into your chest and roll yourself up to seated. All right, then come onto your hands and your knees and let's just warm up the spine a little bit. A little bit of cat cow. So as you exhale, round your back, look back at your navel. Inhale, arch your back, wheel your chest through. Exhale, round your back, look back at your navel. Inhale, arch through. Then exhale, come into neutral, stretch your right arm forward and your left leg back behind you. Keep your spine long like when you're on the floor. Reach past your heel, past your fingers. Change sides, right leg, left arm. Lengthen through your tail, lengthen through your crown, pull your belly up. Release and change sides. 
release and change sides. Good, then lower your hand and your knee down and stretch back into plank pose. So open up your middle three knuckles into the mat, keep your chest open, turn on your abs, and now pull your right knee up to your chest, use your belly, stretch it back. Pull your left knee up to your chest, use your belly, stretch it back, and then let's start to pick up the pace a little bit, but keep feeling that your abs are turning on to pull your knee up instead of just swinging and using momentum. And see if you can pick up the pace a little bit more. Keep using the abs to pull the leg up. Every time you bring your knee up, you can exhale to help to engage your core. Ollie's tripping out. Ollie, are you okay? Relax yourself. Okay, then hold in plank and set your knees down. Open up for side plank with the left hand, left knee down. Then if you wanna make it a little more challenging, you could stre stretch the left leg straight out, bear all your weight onto your hand. If it's too much on your wrist or your shoulder, no worries, just keep your knee down. Then set your hand back down. Right knee, right hand down, open up. I'll turn my back so you can see what it looks like the back. Make sure that you don't lock your elbow. You can keep a little micro bend if it helps. And then maybe extend the leg out. Then come back down. Last part of this plank series, coming to plank on your forearms. This is gonna be awful, I'm just warning you. Okay, here we go. So in plank on your forearms, I want you to dome your back, squeeze your abs up, and then come into neutral spine. Dome your back, squeeze your abs up, and then neutral spine. Three more. And then neutral, two more. Neutral, last one. Neutral, hold. Good, then left knee, left forearm down. And you can hang out there or stretch both legs out. Always making a guest appearance this week, but he does not have his best behavior this week, apparently. Okay, set your right leg down. Right knee down. Oh, he's okay. And then come back into plank on your forearms and hold the last five, four, three, two. Lower your hips down for a moment and start to open up your chest. Sphinx pose. All right, then stretch back to child's pose. Good job. Let your head rest for a moment. And then stretch into down dog. Walk your feet up to the front of your mat. Little bend in your knees. Let your head drop. And then roll yourself up to stand. Head and neck last thing to come up. Stand up tall, shoulders back, chest open. Then with a little bend in your knees, slide your hands down towards your shins, maintaining a flat back. Draw your belly in, come back up, roll your shoulders back. And as you inhale, slide your hands down, keeping a flat back. Exhale, press into your feet, come back up, roll your shoulders back, chest open. Just trying to warm up your hamstrings. Inhale, slide down. Exhale, come back up, roll your shoulders back, chest open. And inhale, slide your hands down. 
Navel in, head all the way down, let your head drop. Good, one more time with the knees bent, roll up into a flat back, or into a rounded back. Roll yourself all the way up, and then stand tall. Okay, now stretch your arms straight out in front of you, and take your feet outer hips distance apart. <clears throat> Make sure that the ankles are upright, you're not gonna let the ankles twist one way or the other. And lift up onto your toe mounds for a moment, and lower your heels down. Lift up onto your toe mounds, lower your heels down, lift up, and lower down. Now keep the lifted quality, like when you're lifting your heels, as you slowly start to sit back. Inhale from your pelvic floor all the way up to the crown of your head, and feel the whole spine lengthen, and as you exhale, stand tall. So this is actually like a really good movement for your spine, for your back muscles, for your core, if it's done well. So as you inhale, slowly sit back. You can start to like alleviate a lot of back problems by being able to work into a squat position. It's something that we lose as a functional movement from all the sitting. Come back up as you exhale. And we're just gonna do 10. Inhale, slowly sit back. Exhale, stand. And make sure your waist stays even, you're not swinging right to left. Inhale, slowly sit back. The weight is more in the heels now, but make sure you don't favor one heel or the other as you exhale, stand. Seven more, inhale, slowly sit back and grow even taller, like you're making your posture better as you sit back. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, slowly sit back. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, slowly sit back. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, slowly sit back and hold down there. Exhale, come back up. I think last one, I stopped counting, my bad. Inhale, slowly sit back and hold. And then come all the way up to stand. Raise your arms up and bring your arms down at your side. Okay, we're gonna do one last little lungey thing here. And this is uh, really good to work your hip muscles, which all affect your core. Like sometimes people just think like, if I wanna get a strong core, I should just do crunches. Well, like your hips and your glutes, that all affects how your core works. So we wanna have strong legs too, if we wanna have a strong core for our yoga practice, it's important. Okay, so this lunge sequence is gonna be a little tricky. We've never done a lunge sequence like this, I don't think it's called an around the world lunge. So you're gonna step your right foot forward and lower your left knee, and you wanna keep the good posture, even if you can't lower as low, and then you'll step back. Then you'll step your right leg out to the side and do a lunge, and then come back up. Then you'll step your right foot back, lunge, and stay tall through your spine, and then step up. Okay, let's do it with the left foot now. Left foot forward, back up. Left foot to the side, back up, left foot back, and keep your good posture like you're balancing a book on top of your head, and stand up. Good, right foot to the side, and right foot back, step up. Left foot to the side, and back. Okay, let's pick up the pace just a little bit now. Now that you got the movement, and you're doing it with good posture. If you lose the posture, then you can start to slow it down. Then left foot, side, back. Right foot, side, back. Left foot, side, back, last round, right foot, side, back, and left foot, side, back. Good job. Last thing that we're gonna do for our hips is these little like sumo wrestler looking squats, and these are good for your external rotators. Bring your hands here to the iliac crest, top of your pelvis, and as you inhale, start to bend your knees out to the side like both legs are doing warrior two. Now in this position, 
Stretch from your inner legs, groins towards your knees, and pull from your outer knees into your hips pockets. So like feel your outer butt start to squeeze, hold there, and then come back up. Just do eight of these. Inhale, exhale. More about feeling your outer butt squeeze and the inner legs lengthen than how deep you go. Exhale, exhale. Inhale to slowly lower and turn your thighs out. Exhale, last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, step up to the top of your mat. Take your arms out to the side. Externally rotate your upper arms. Turn the palms, lift your chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine. And step back one leg at a time into down dog. Good, hold in your dog, open up your hands evenly into the mat. Then from down dog, look in between your hands and hop to seated. <clears throat> Put your hands back behind you, turn your shoulder blades onto your back and lift your chest. Good, so this is kind of like a modified version of reverse plank, just designed to get your back muscles working. All right, then come into boat pose. Bring your knees up, feet up, grip your abs. And then lower slowly into low boat pose. Both legs extended, abs turn on. Then bend your knees, put your hands behind your head. Inhale, lower your head. Exhale, crunch up toward your right knee and stretch your left leg forward. Then change legs. Change legs. And keep going side to side. Remember, we wanna make sure that we're using our muscles instead of momentum. So like anybody can just like fling themselves side to side without like really engaging the muscle or making sure that the work is being done. So go slow enough so you can feel that your abs are working as you change sides. You'll notice that I'm using an exhalation through my mouth and that's fine when you do ab work it's different from when you're like holding a static yoga pose where you just want to breathe through your nose. And then hold up here, come back to center, crunch up a little higher, take both legs up, lift your butt up, and lower your hips in your head. One more like that, crunch up, lift your hips, and lower your head. I lied, we're just gonna do one more. Exhale, crunch up, lift your butt, and lower it down. Lower your legs down too. Oh my gosh, okay. Check it out, there's just one more part where we're just gonna like work our hips and then our back muscles, and then we're gonna do some stretches just to stretch it out. So for this part, you're going to lie onto your side and you can support your head with your hand. And so your, your glute meads, these are your side butt muscles and these are really important to balance you like when you're trying to stand and balance. For most people, these muscles spend most of their time turned off so that when you walk, they're not really working. When you're trying to stand for a balancing pose, they're not really working. That's what I see most as a yoga teacher. So a way that we can get these things to fire and work is with some of these little like sidekick things, actions. So first, with your left foot, you're gonna turn the big toe down and internally rotate the thigh. And already you'll feel your muscle dent when you do that. That means it's turned on. Now lengthen through your spine and turn on your low abs. As you exhale, squeeze your butt towards your heel, draw your belly up, and see if you can raise the leg a little higher without the buttock coming up, and then lower. Exhale, 
And we'll just do eight like that. Five. Keep the big toe turned down. Keep squeezing the butt down out of your back. Three, two, one. Hold the leg up. Now swing it forward halfway. Pause. And we'll do six. Five, four. Keep your buttock down. Lower back long. Three, two, one. Hold and release. Okay, roll on to the other side, or I'm just gonna flip so I, I'm still looking at you. Okay, here we go. Hand under your ear. Feet come forward just a little. Turn the big toe down. You'll feel your butt turn on when you do that. One. Hold your leg up, then bring it forward, like halfway, and six, five, four. Keep your hips reaching out of your lower back. Three, two, one, hold it up, and release. Lie on your back, and we'll do a quick hip stretch before we go into our back bend series. So cross your right ankle over your left knee and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Doesn't that feel so good after doing that? Oh my gosh. And then change legs. Cross your left ankle over your right knee, hug it in. Okay, good. Uncross your legs, lie on your belly, and then stretch your arms straight out in front of you. Press the tops of the feet down and watch the knees. Lift the inner knees so your legs are active. But also my thighs are in neutral, so my knees point straight down and my thighs turn out at all. Scoop your belly up towards your chest, and without your belly sinking, raise your right leg an inch. Try to make yourself even longer. That's important that you can activate the muscles like that. So right leg is up, now lift the left hand an inch. Keep getting longer. Change sides, left leg up an inch. Lengthen your tail, right arm up an inch. Change sides. Change sides. Change sides. Change sides. Then put your hands under your forehead. Bend your knees, bring your heels towards your buttock. As you inhale, and as you exhale, stretch the legs out, lift your head chest up. Inhale, lower your head, bend your knees. And exhale, come up. Inhale, lower your head, bend your knees, heels towards your butt. And exhale. Firm the buttocks out of your lower back, scoop your belly. Inhale. And exhale. Then stretch your arms straight out to the side. Broaden across your collarbones. Increase your wingspan. And arms straight back behind you. Turn the shoulder blades onto the back. Spread across your chest. Then keep your fingers pointing back. Slide your hands next to your side ribs. Open up the front of the chest, the front of the shoulders, all those sticky muscles in there. Really good for your posture to hold this stretch. Don't pinch the elbows. Do bring the blades onto the back. Then turn the fingers around so it's like a more classic position. And then roll all the way up into up dog. And stretch back. Child's pose.
Okay, cool. We're gonna do a few seated stretches now, just to like stretch out what we worked, etc. So take your legs wide apart, Upavista Konasana, and sit up straight and tall. Then twist to your left, put your right hand in the middle, left hand behind you. Sit up tall as you turn. Try to keep your toes upright so they're not twisting in or out. Change sides, twist to your right. Again, keep the toes upright. Grow the spine upright so you're working your core muscles. Come back to center. Then bring the right heel towards the left inner thigh for Janu Shirshasana. Turn to face your left inner leg and then start to fold forward. Maybe you can grab a hold of your foot and then start to make the spine long as you let the thighs release down and away from each other. If you're super flexible, like you might want to fold forward, put your head on your ankle. Otherwise, just work on your length like I am. Come back up and stretch your right leg out. Bring your left heel in. Turn to face your right inner leg and maybe fold forward and grab a hold of your foot if it's possible. Just breathe into where you feel the sensation and keep letting the thighs drop down and away from each other. Okay, good. Come back up, both legs go wide apart, put your hands in front of you and keep the thighs turned into neutral, toes upright. And maybe you can slide your hands a little bit further. All right, then come up to seated and Cross your legs at the middle of the shins and twist to your right. Left hand at the outside of your knee, right hand behind you. Come back to center and twist to your left. Back to center, change the cross of your legs. We'll do one more round of twisting. Twist to your right. And twist to your left. All right, then lie down onto your back for brief shavasana. Let your feet go slightly wider than the hip distance. Let the feet fall open. Take the hands out at your side, like a foot away from your body. Let the palms turn up. So just relax completely now. Let the body melt into the mat. And just take a moment here to notice the shift that comes at the end of your practice. Feel when we practice yoga, we're cultivating our prana or experience of prana, our body's ability to process, to harness prana, to move prana through it. Prana is life force energy. So before you practice, you might have felt like stale or I don't know how you felt, tired. But now you might feel that you feel life force energy moving, pulsing through your body. You feel energized yet calm and light, like your body was able to throw off a load of tension. We transform the tension into energy. So just take a moment to be grateful that you have the ability to do that. You did that for yourself today by doing your practice. How cool is that? Bend your knees now. Roll over to your right side and press up to seated. All right, so thanks so much for practicing with me.